Hello, welcome back. Today in this video, we're going to go through an application of differentiation. It's called finding a differential. So here we are given uh, three different functions to work with. And in each of them, we're going to try to find dy. And we are going to use the formula dy equals f prime of x dx for this purpose. And this is a good practice for you to examine your uh, expertise in uh, differentiating the functions or finding the derivatives of functions. So here we go. So we have y to be equal to x times uh, square root 5 minus x squared. Well, this is the product of uh, two functions, x and uh, radical 5 minus x squared. So why don't we use the product rule to come up with the y prime and, and obviously we're going to multiply this by dx. All right. So uh, the derivative of the first term is 1, so 1 times the second function is radical 5 minus x squared plus you keep the first one and take the derivative of the second function. But I think it's better to write uh, 5 minus uh, x squared in the, in the square root sign to be, um, I'll just write it here, so 5 minus x squared is essentially equal to 5 minus x squared to the power of 1 half. So that allows me to use the chain rule. All right, so this, this, this exponent goes down here. So 1 half times 5 minus x squared to the power of negative, half, negative 1 half. And then we're going to multiply this quantity by the derivative of the inner function, which is negative 2x. Okay, so let's simplify this. So we have radical 5 minus x squared, and then I have 1 half and other, and other 2 here, so they cancel out each other. I have x and x here together with the minus sign, so minus x squared, and I have this 5 minus x squared to the power of negative 1 half. Why don't we take the reciprocal of that and represent it by the radical uh, 5 minus x squared? Okay, that's exactly what means to have the negative half power. Okay, all right, we can leave this like that, but we can continue simplifying it. So why don't we get a common factor here, which is radical five minus x squared, right? So we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom of this by that. So that takes you to five minus x squared, radical five minus x squared minus x squared, radical five minus x squared. And don't forget, by the way, the dx here and here as well. All right, the final shot here is just to combine the tops here. So you have 5 minus 2x squared divided by radical 5 minus x squared times dx. So this is the differential of y written in terms of the differential of x. All right, for part B, we should remember how to take care of the derivatives of ln functions, but before I hit the road, I am going to try to simplify that expression because this is equal to ln of 5 minus x squared to the power of 1 half. And we remember from pre-calculus that if you have ln of something raised to a power, you can always pull out that power and write it as 1 half ln 5 minus x squared. So once we have this simplification, then we can go ahead and use the rule of differentiation for the derivative of ln. So here we go. So dy is equal to the derivative of this function times dx. Okay. So I have one half as a multiple, so I keep it as this. And the derivative of ln goes like this. So it's the derivative of inside divided by inside. So in other words, it's 5 minus x squared prime divided by 5 minus x squared. So what is the derivative of uh, 5 minus x squared? So that's negative 2x, right, divided by 5 minus x squared. And this is all multiplied by dx, okay? And the 2's cancel here, right? The 2's cancel here. So we conclude that dy is equal to minus x divided by 5 minus x squared dx, let me just write dy here. If you change the x point and the change in x values starting from that point, then you can actually uh, measure, then you can, you can check how much change in y in reaction to the change in x. 
All right, for finally, for part C, we're gonna consider taking the derivative of arctan type function. So you gotta remember the rule for that. So dy is gonna be arctan x minus five prime dx, okay? The derivative of arctan is like this. So the derivative of the inner function, so which is x minus five prime, and divided by, one plus one plus x minus five squared. And this is multiplied by dx. All right, what is the derivative of x minus five prime? And that is one. So one plus one over one plus x minus five quantity squared dx is telling us how the change in x relates to the change in y for different x locations. All right, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.